Happy Father's Day. You know, okay, men do cry too. You know, I've uh, when last week when Sister Kehal was up here, I'm not even last week, the following is, sorry, when uh, she was giving her message, this thing came into my, my heart. Father. F A T H E R. This is what it means to me. Faith without works is dead, but all things is possible. A. Pay attention to God in what He says. T. Tears where no one else can see. But God. H. Is the most hardest tear for our Father or men. Humble yourself when times is rough. E, to embrace the word which God gives us. E. R, to build a relationship with our Father in heaven. Yes, I'm a father of seven. One natural son, Christopher. Five adoptees, James. Shayla and Cheyenne, Frankie, Vincent, and my Hanai daughter is Hoku Kamukufaina. You know, when my brothers stood up here and shared their hearts, you know, the most very, very important thing is the R. Relationship with our Father in Heaven, which I do first. As I stand here, as a mirror for my children, they can look in the reflection in me. You know, I thank God for just all what He does. I thank Him for just the love the grace and mercy which he gives. You know, as, as, as Pat had read in James, I had a short scripted too. In Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will. All you do, and he will show you which path to take. You know, as fathers, you know, yes, we cannot live out our wives because they came from us. They're a part of us. And when God created man and woman, truly say that I love my pastor so much. I love him so much that he sees my heart. He sees my faith. Sometimes I, I falter. But you know what? He said his son. He said his son. Die for me. And I'm so grateful. 